that and all of it was obviously incredibly important um, to win the game uh, against the Southampton team who we would have had problem with anyway but in our specific situation it was absolutely clear we tried to give as many informations but not too many because of the characteristic of the team of the lineup um, to them and we had to improve during the game so having a, so I would say the the last line obviously is a settled last line goalie, yeah, we, I think we, we all know how good he is, but then Joey on six, two nineteen year old on eight, an eighteen year old on a left wing, and then Cody and 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 Harvey, <coughs> who in other circumstances would have never played. <laughs> because we had just had to have played 120 minutes a few minutes ago. Um, so what these two boys did there is absolutely incredible. Um, first 15 minutes, I don't know exactly, we were all over the place. We tried to press because the boys know I want that we press. <laughs> just the timing was horrendous. Um, and and Southampton obviously used that. Southampton had momentum, Southampton had big chances. We've had to make saves. But step by step we found a way into the game. High press got better, midfield press not that early. For midfield press I think we needed more the half time and a little bit of luck and good defending in the last line, but that's fine. Half time we could then, then obviously the goal we scored is in a nearly perfect moment. It was a little bit, you need to ask Russell or the South Hampton, I think it felt a little bit like momentum change. So they had it obviously. Um, and we got a little bit of foot into the game and then we scored this wonderful goal, which was an exceptional finish of Lewis. So, an 18-year-old boy playing on the left wing against a senior player is, is really a, a team with not a lot of patterns, let me say it like that, um, is tricky. But staying in the game for this moment just shows that he's a real striker. So, uh, because the goal is exceptional, eh? you step in and then he shoots before the goalie can really settle, stuff like this. Really good finish. Yeah, could adjust in half time and and then second half, obviously, the midfield press was much better, that's helped. Um, and we had now the momentum rather than Southampton. We won a lot of high balls and scored wonderful goals. The, the, the play was special, but we won the balls were special. Everything was then special, and then um, obviously, yeah, something like that, as impossible as it seems, can happen. What does it say about Jamie Dance as well? Characteristics as a striker, lovely thing finish for the first, but the second one on the move, following in, showing those kind of striking instincts as well. And the striking instincts, I don't know doubt about that. So, yeah, that, there's, that, there's no youth level where you don't have that. We have 10 year olds with a, with a striking instinct, but. Um, and he showed in the final that he arrives in the right moment, eh? so he was there three times in a final. <laughs> your first, okay, not the first, no, your second outing for your boy. Um, and you arrive three times, and with a bigger, longer toe, he probably scores already in the final. Um, so that he is there is cool that the goals have the same size thing, and the youth department is cool as well, because that's why he, in a situation like that, chipping is really good. Unfortunately, I can tell you now already in his career, he will miss chances as well. That will happen and probably in similar situations. But for now, um, I, can't, I cannot imagine how this week must feel for the boys. Um, it feels pretty good for me. But I know about all the problems we have around as well. They don't have to care about that, so they can just fly. And um, they deserve that. And we, it's, a week, it's a, a week of the academy. Um, and I'm so happy to mention them again. <laughs> just because it's exceptional. We should not forget Trey Neoni came on tonight. Um, that looked promising as well. <laughs> 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 
not in the squad because injured a Ben Doak who had already a few really good games for us and Stefan Bacetic same age group however good so there is a lot to come Connor we don't mention anymore in these circumstances Kwanzaa we don't mention anymore in these circumstances so it's pretty special what's happening um, it's really difficult because we have unfortunately too many games for not enough players but so far we found somehow a solution and we have to keep doing that we have to great when we play here an atmosphere which is super special the people thankfully did that again or loved it it was not a game in the first half where you can be ecstatic all the time but the support we got the feeling the people created this positive vibe was super class I loved it really in second half then it was easier to go for it no, we, then we did that there was top and in the away games we need whoever comes with us needs to try to push from a corner or whatever um, in the stadium to do that because it's tricky. Yeah? So we will see who can play on Saturday. It's unfortunately really not a lot of time. They play tonight as well, I know. Um, so let's see. Don't know. Richard. Did we say Ben Doak? Oh, sorry, Jaden Dan. Oh. Just before we can speak about Ben as well. So, um, so I understand 100%, so like that, but it's a little bit like with our, with the new darts sensation. Like, obviously, yeah, I mean, so like we start now, and it's fine for tonight, absolutely, but from tomorrow on, leave the boys in the corner, please. And don't ask where they're now, where they're now, where they're now. They have a lot to improve, a lot to learn. Um, and everybody who's with us should now just make sure they will have their moments and in a moment with our squad situation they will have more moments than they ever have expected probably so that's one thing the other thing is exceptional talents of course it's not it's not natural that a boy when 18 years old comes in that situation is just calm as you like and chips the ball there the second goal I would I would have expected from him because he has that in him that he really arrives there in these moments he saw when Connor shot he was hoping when Ben Connor finished the situation, he was hoping that the goalie cannot save it. Um, first, this yes, is exceptional, but it's, we said a couple of times that so the future doesn't look that bad. So um, maybe the people don't forget it in a moment when the transfer window opens. And a couple of pretty promising players already here. <laughs> don't close the door for them with 12 signings or whatever. But um, now, Joe Gomez saved our life in that. In, in, until now 20 times and the kids kept that in, kept us in the competition so we can talk about the boys for the next four hours if you want but the real story today is, besides the goals is actually Joe Gomes because as it was he played today I never saw I never saw and for the first time on that position in the middle of the park with chaos around him because nothing was settled I couldn't respect it more Bye. Hi. Um, you, you have been listing essentially teenagers that are not only gaining minutes but already approaching the approach. How have you and the club put into such a healthy environment for such a difficult task in football, which is to find the right timing for the team? <laughs> we were not involved in the timing, to be honest, too much because we had to use them because we don't have other players. So I would like to say we, we waited. Five years and now they are, when you saw them first time when they were 13, I said in February 2024 we will bring them. So it's, we have a close, a very, very good and a very close relationship with the academy for the obvious reasons. You all know that with Tomatos, um, Alex, Barry, Mark, it's all, we have a really close relationship. We actually work in the same building, just on different sides. Um, the way Liverpool wants to play is clear as well. I mean, it's a specific day a few years ago. It's probably was set up by me, but it's not. The club needs to agree on that. Um, I cannot stand in the academy every day on a training pitch and tell you we do that in training. Everybody bought into that. That's the best news because it's not about how you play. It's about you, you because there might be different styles, different ways. But you have to make sure that these exceptional talents understand. That a football game starts with defending. 
But they're all talented, otherwise they would not play for Liverpool. But it's in the, in the youth department, it's a little bit like that. You can really be much better than the opponent. That doesn't happen that often in adult football, to be honest. Um, and that's you have to be ready for that. And I saw that today, that the boys make really big steps. So how is that? With Trey, you can see there's absolutely nobody. Really, just I don't know what his weight is, to be honest, but when he is on the ball, he is very mature. That's that's all cool, but um, yeah, we have to. They have to develop a lot, pretty much everything, and they grow still. Huh? They grow still, um, and it's special. And of course, it's for me strange as well. I never had that before. That you play with that many kids and still can win football games. It's a really interesting experience, to be honest. Um, yeah. Close before the finishing line, I saw that as well. So I'm really thankful for that. Gentlemen, the hat, and then last one, the very back. Yeah, I just do what you made of Southampton because you spoke quite strongly about the championship as a league. What did you make of that performance? Did you think they had got the elements that could get back to the Premier League? I am not here to put it. I know a little bit about the situation at the table, so it's probably pretty tight, isn't it? Um, uh, but yes, of course. Hey, it, you can see the direction is absolutely right. That's obvious. The way Russell wants to play is obvious. They do really well, but it, there are some risks in it, let me say like that. <laughs> so you have to get used to it more and more and more. And if they go up, I don't even, how is that? It's not me to decide if they get promoted or not, but if they stay another year in championship and, and, and can work on that, they will win much more football games in the Premier League that maybe it's more settled. Who knows? So the, the, the future looks, for me, from my point of view, pretty positive as well. So, but I, I wouldn't call myself an expert after watching the last three games of them. Last one, the very back. Hi. With who? Callahan. Oh, didn't I say that loud enough? I love it. Said it before, said it last year, said it two years ago. Said it very often, actually. And there is an exception goalkeeper. Goalkeepers need rhythm. There was the situation in the summer, obviously. Con uh, um, Kweef knows. Maybe he is a confident boy. He knows that he can play in, um, in other, other teams. But here's Alison Becker, the number one. Uh, we gave him the European League games. I think that's a real, makes a real difference because it was Karabor Cup and the um, uh, European League games. don't know exactly how many there are. 10, 12 already. Then unfortunately, Ali got injured, so he had to play and got the rhythm. And now you can see how what Kvief is. And he had to, we had the game against Fulham, I think, when the two goals he conceded, um, he looked a bit unlucky. And said after the game, I spoke to a goalie department, to Ali as well, that's a problem of the way we want to be, that we want the goalies have. So front footed, step into, and when he stepped in, Harry Wilson was there with the toe. Ball goes through his hand, everybody says, oh, well, it's not a good goal, it's an exceptional goalie. But even them make mistakes from time to time. Thank God he didn't make one tonight, uh, because that kept us in the game. Both games, so call it the Cleve Keller games, because without him um, in that shape, and Ali injured, we wouldn't have won the Karaboa Cup, and we wouldn't definitely wouldn't have won definitely tonight. But um, that's the goalie's job as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. See you. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.